What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we about to get into, um, I got to call Blueface something else, because I don't like him right now. Um, what, what should we call? I got to come up with a name. When I don't like you, I got a name. Anybody I don't like, they got a name. <laughs> um, I'm going to come up with one. But anyway, before we even get into this, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in. You can be anywhere else, but you're here with me, so I appreciate y'all for doing that. Um, blue cheese, I'll take blue cheese. Blue balls, I like blue balls. Let's go with blue balls. So last night, blue balls, um, he came to, uh, to Twitter, and he said this, tell me why. Oh, this was at 6 in the morning. That's why she was up at 7. Tell me why I snuck a swab. This baby... <laughs> DNA test results came in, and I'm not the father. Shake my head. It's a bittersweet feeling because I was coming around to it, but definitely in my best interest. Thank you, Jesus. Um, For one, I am absolutely not against a man getting a test several times. Uh, my mama always told me mama's baby's daddy. Maybe I like Lucifer better. Lucifer, that's his name. Mama's baby's daddy's maybes. Um, so it is okay for a man to take multiple tests. If he, if he want to waste his money for multiple tests, cool. Um, also with the show and the test situation, I also can feel why he felt as though, um, he wasn't right. But what I will say is he ain't swab him the other day. Uh, what's his name? Um, whack. When him and whack was on live, you know, him and whack is too calculated fools or whatever so him and whack on live and whack said um if you find out first of all get another test so you can find out whether he is or not because you probably doing all this for no reason if y'all don't remember whack told him to do that the other day also whack been saying for him to take a test whack been putting that in his ear for a minute that he don't think he is now in the event he take the test for real because he didn't. In the event he take the test for real and find out that he is, then he going to realize he being stupid or he's going to get worse, right? Um, I would absolutely treat Blucifer like a pit bull walking down the street, a dog on the street. That's how he treat these women. That's what he would be getting in return, period. Either that or I would move so far away from that nigga, you would never be able to get nowhere near me. I'm going to tell y'all right now, the accountability that I want to um, put on Krishan is she shouldn't have never continued to play that game with this fool. Now, maybe she got the money. Yes. She got all the fame. She got everything she wanted, but that came with a lot of bullshit. Okay? And in the process of that, I wouldn't have um, continued to play the game with him of he still got control over me. Because that was a thrill for him. It don't matter what I do. I still got control over her. That's the same with Jaden. It don't matter what I do. I still got control over her. And now he feels as though he owned them. He feels as though whatever fame Krishan has, he owns that fame. Whatever fame uh, Jaden has now, uh, he owns that as well. So he's been dealing with Jaden since they was 14 or something like that. So... He slick been on in her. I'm talking been on in her. Um, but now, Krishan gave him uh, the gauntlet to control her, too. She gave that nigga the key. Marsh said that when Krishan, well, when Krishan and them moved in, Blueface was the first one to have a key? How? <laughs> he didn't help with the co signing. He didn't help her get in there at all. He didn't give her no money, and he still don't give her no money as far as support for Junior. How the hell he get a key, bro? So in that way, Krishan has definitely given him that rope to help hang her. Absolutely he's given her that rope. But it's time for her to cut that motherfucker. She need to cut that rope ASAP. Do you hear me? The game that they playing is so dangerous, y'all. Like, I get it. Bobby and Whitney survived. 
got to get some humor in it. Bobby and Whitney survived. They did. Um, Peter Guns and his baby mamas and wives and shit, they survived too. However, we didn't see all of this. Like, with Bobby and Whitney, I don't know. We've seen a lot. We've seen it late, but we've seen a lot. But this is so dangerous. Like, to be in a car, f to pull up at 4 in the morning, pull a nigga uh, all the way out the warmth, take him all the way out into the cold, which is a bad idea for a three-month-old. Uh, hello. Um, and then just... It's because you mad that she getting some meat, you thought? When we both know you came over to give her some meat, man. Like, I'm so disgusted. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. Anyway, um, what else he say? He said, when a female want to start doing everything you do, run. I ain't going to lie. Blueface should definitely just be a pimp. He should. But the, he trying to pimp the wrong ones. You know what I'm saying? He, he definitely has that pimp mentality. He wants to have all the money. He wants to have all the fame. And he don't want no woman to be able to tell him to do nothing. And that's okay. But he wants the, the lifestyle of it. He wants to, um, he want to be the king in the house and have a queen. Bro. You can't play chess without a queen. <laughs> and you can't play chess without a king either. So at some point, you're going to have to work with these women, gang. At some point. And uh, if, he don't, if he don't decide to start working with them ASAP, that nigga got a long road to hell coming towards him because he can't survive without him. That's why he giving Krishan hell, y'all. He can't survive without these women. That's why he giving Jaden hell. See, I think in the back of his mind, he really wants the family. I do. I think that he wants the family, but I think that he just only wants the, whole, the sole control of it. I don't like women with attitudes either. I don't like going back and forth with women either. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I take care of everything. I don't, I don't deserve it, if you ask me, because I make sure everything good. But I'm not out here smashing everybody. I'm not out here. I'm definitely not whooping nobody ass. Like, that's crazy. You know the man. I don't have to be a man to put my hands on somebody. Nobody has to be a man to put their hands on anybody. But me and attitudes don't work well. It don't, it don't go good with my, with my mental at all. You know what I'm saying? So I do, I feel where he coming from in a certain sense of assertiveness. But the disrespect and all that other shit, nah, he <laughs> lost me on that one. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about his tweets, y'all. Um, I am just, I am behooved at the fact that he is doing this. Um, and I'm also behooved at the fact that these women just allowed him to. Real shit. And that's just, that's kind of all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um... And yeah, I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.